Hello, and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more. Our campaign is Portugal. So I've gained a claim on Ajaran. I took a claim over on this province of Mombasa because of the coastal center of trade and the marketplace. We have the ability to fabricate claims on any colonial or trade company uh, region right now because of exploration and expansion. So we can just kind of skip the fact that we don't have adjacency and go straight for the estuaries, which would be cool. Meanwhile, we got this war going on over here, and I've got a claim on Ashanti as well. Ooh, that's actually part of the West African Charter. We should definitely take that province from them as well. I forget. I've already forgotten the effects of trade companies, but I know they're good. It, like, naval force limit from inland provinces, which is cool. Where are you going, sir? Okay, you are going to intercept one of these one stacks, it looks like. So... I think we're going to rally around. Start to form up. Now that is a fort. He should be stuck there. So you can actually go to Joma. One of you guys can try to push in. You can stay here for the moment. I would love to know, <clears throat> is there, am I missing something? Is there an easier way? Alright, I think, I think there might be. Like if you have the, like, selected from their perspective first, then you go to the fort map mode. That is a different map mode altogether from this one. So there's this little tricky thing here. Colors the provinces according to the diplomatic status of port owners. There's nothing in the tooltip at all that tells you that you can do this. But if you click on like Timbuktu, see how I just pressed, I just went to the fort map mode using I, and it's showing my forts with green. But if I'm on a map mode like say the diplomatic map mode with Timbuktu as the primary, and then I switch to the fort map mode, it shows it from their perspective. Which is just, like, why why is it so hard to, to see it from their perspective? So, I should spend more time, like, figuring out exactly what this means. These are projecting defensive zone of control in his own land. But I can never see his return province. I think, if I remember correctly, he marched through Segu. It would be so handy if you could just, like, click on the army and select their army and see their return province, but no! Anyway, so he should should not be able to get down to here. Whatever. It is what it is. What is our goal in this war? Right now, Castile is 69 years old. And we still have the potential for a union over him, which would be pretty sick. Uh... Call to arms would actually be actively bad right now. Us versus France would be just... It would be an interesting war. Hungary... France? <laughs> Hungary, Ottomans, and Savoy. It would be a war of the century. And... Castile's ruler is 69 years old. So, let's cross our fingers, because that sounds like a shit ton of fun. Okay, I'd like to at least get you down to low enthusiasm. Let's dispatch a single infantry up to the capital. We're just going to try to occupy and besiege enough to make him not want to be in the war anymore. Then we just do a quick peace deal and make it easy. Still win separatists at 80%. Don't be a jerk though and like make me have to reform up my army, please. I'm confused. That's a fort. That's my zone of control. No. Two, the two distance rule. I wish they would just go back to the previous version that they had. I like that one much better.
my previous, I mean the, the previous new one. Okay, we've got a claim on Timbuktu. You know what? I want to also start spying on, like, these guys that are way over here. I keep on getting offered these missions to, to do stuff against these guys, and you should take advantage of it. They're slightly behind time on tech, which could be a big advantage. Like, Bruni's on tech 9. They almost never end up with any allies. They're just allied to Sulu, one province minor. Be very easy to just come over here, land a huge army right in, like, Pontiniac, and then, even though they'd be in, uh, Uncolonized land, they wouldn't get black flagged, we could declare war, march in, just swoop in, kill everything. And then it can be done with like turn eight. It's part of a trade company. Should be. But, like turn eight and Tadore would be excellent targets. Let's go ahead and fabricate on them. Why did I decide to make the key binding for diplomacy G instead of D? Oh, I remember. I used to have ASD for these three, and then I got rid of it because on this screen they used D to do this. So now D certainly makes a whole lot of sense for diplomacy. I should change that. I'm going to change that. I'm going to do that after this episode. You'd be surprised. I actually enjoy, like, that stuff a lot. It's fun. If you don't have enough trade power to fabricate, this button should just send a diplomat to go fabricate, like, build up a spy network on there. I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't play games anymore without voicing my thoughts on what the way things should be. Okay, so... Uh, no! That's not a good one. Gain corruption. Okay, well, it's not as bad as it could have been. Just sit there politely and let me siege everything down. Don't train any more troops. Basile, I need you to die. They should add intrigue to the game so that you can murder people. That would be really fun too. There's the low enthusiasm, but now I have no diplomat. Getting counter espionaged by Ajran, so let's come back from that. Trinate and Tador, at least for now, are pretending like they don't know about the things that I'm doing to them. They're probably going to cheat soon and just start counter espionaging me, because they always do. They always just know. Kill one separatists are at 80%. The burgers want Beja. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys are at like 79.8% influence right now. <laughs> this is quite a bit. But this also gives like a ridiculous amount of loyalty. I think it even gives the same amount of loyalty you would have if you granted it them directly anyway. Uh, this is no estuary here, but... Ooh, and that's a really bad province for you. Uh, but you can have it temporarily. It increased their influence by 20.2%. How much you want to bet that number's not right? First off... This amount of land increases their influence by 19.8%, 1.5% influence per 1% of your total development capped at 40%. Okay, so we aren't at the cap, but I just don't know if it's true or not. But I do want to check this. If I were to grant this to them myself, it would give me 7.6 loyalty. So do I get 7.6 plus 15, or 7.6 is just sort of forgotten? It's just sort of forgotten. Well, we got more either way. That's good. And it said it'd go up by 20%. I told you. I told you it lied. It didn't go up by 20%. It went up by like 11 point something. Aranox, fix your tooltips, please. So you are not supposed to hold on to all this land. You have how many provinces? You've got Tangiers, Mapemba, Boer. Boer? What's that? Oh, the gold mine. Yeah, I do want you to have that. Looks like you're going to lose control of Tangier for now. 
That's not even gonna be enough, is it? I guess maybe Mapemba. Really not ideal, considering that this is at 73% autonomy. Well, the gold mine isn't a big deal. Not to mention, is this the right religion? It is already. Hmm. We're going to temporarily revoke that. We'll just give it to the, the, the clergy instead. Ooh, that actually puts them too high. How about the nobility, then? What a horrible province for the nobles to have. But somebody should have it, right? If it's got that much autonomy, somebody should be controlling it for me. This will make them temporarily disloyal, but we get rid of the disaster. That's what matters right now. Okay. He did my back. Somehow he went from low back up to medium. I guess when I started to immediately make gains, it was a bigger swing in, in that number. Kong? Kong wants access. Alright, sure, go ahead. Seems perfectly fine to me. How is that explorer doing, by the way? He's in Goa. I could have sworn I saw him, like, plowing through the TI over here, so... Why hasn't he actually succeeded in his mission yet? Alright, what are we doing? We're waiting for Castile to die is what we're doing. Castile, please die. It's gonna be a big old pop-up. It's probably gonna scare the crap out of me when it happens, if it does. Okay, uh, Monarch points are okay. He's slowly making progress, trying to get his fort back. Not gonna be very likely to su he succeeds in that mission, though. End of religious turmoil. They've gained some stab. We have colonialism against Great Britain. Continuing to take the land that should belong to me. How are you still on medium- Look at this. Your whole country is occupied. Alright, overextension. I finished some cores and I totally forgot to start coring new stuff, didn't I? Why, yes. Yes, I did. I don't really see any reason to not core all of them. Do we buy down this first? I think yes. And these are actually going to be quite easy to convert now. The kill ones are mostly upset in Mozambique, Ibo, and over here. You should have the leader, in case the army actually fires. Take that fort back, please. Damn it! <laughs> I just said don't do that! And so now what? We've spawned inside his zone of control and now we can't go anywhere? Oh god, that's such nonsense.
Well, I was hoping to get him to low enthusiasm, but apparently that's not going to happen. I don't really want to fight him. Don't particularly want a huge amount of land from this guy. I just kind of wanted to be at war to prevent the rebellious subjects from doing something annoying. So, let's say we took this province. It is part of... Not a state that I've already created as a state. And then there's this Zhen guy. Zhen has a core on the province of Zhen. That's two. At least two or three cores. Two, two, at least two that I saw. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Um, we might end up releasing this guy. I was hoping to get war reps and transfer trade power, but apparently that's not gonna happen. Seven percent chance, and they succeeded. The Zhen would get Segu. We could go over the leader limit right, uh, the relationship limit right now. Just take the, the new subject, or we could wait until we're able to integrate somebody else. We've currently got three. Io still has not fabricated claims on anybody. What a dummy. I think I'm going to just take the extra relationship slot. That's going to mean I have nothing to do in Africa, Northern Africa for a while. This whole region will be relatively stable. Sounds good. We do, however, need to find and declare another war. Before anything bad can happen. Union over Castile is still possible. Milan has declared war upon Austria. Now, if, if I were playing as Castile, I'd be immediately declaring a war on anybody so that I couldn't be forced into a personal union. I'm not going to risk having the Ottomans attack me. So if the Ottomans attack me, that puts Castile as the defender in the war. He'll honor the call, meaning that I cannot get the Union. So we're just going to declare the war now. We'll take our time marching over there. This is too good of an opportunity. You know, just, I can't pass it up. What's going on in this region? Some Saxon separatists. War between Würzburg. It's like Lithuania. Ooh, that's Moldavia, occupying the northern part of Lithuania. Weird. <laughs> Hungary is now picking on Moldavia as well. Alright, so our new subject of Jin apparently started the game off with some debt. Cool. How did that happen? Whoa, he had like five loans? I just paid off like five loans. Did he exist earlier or something and have inherited debt? Well, I'm gonna en enable divert trade and we're going to improve with this guy a bit. Something else I could try is we could do like great power influence on you. I need a diplomat for that. All right, the world's first circumnavigation has completed. Gain for me 40 naval tradition. We are currently at... Where is it? Wow, we're already at 81.4. That's pretty good. So we uh, we definitely should placate five times right now. I don't think it's going to make a difference on Seuss. He's going to stay disloyal, most likely. Oh, yo, you don't actually have independent support from somebody, right? 
I don't think he does. I think he's just getting the Alliance to Seuss bonus. So we'll, we're, we're going to placate the crap out of Seuss then. And then we'll take 100 prestige. Thank you. But even though we have placated ruler minus 75.1%, he's still not happy. Without divert trade, he's finally below 100 though. Which means if I clicked five more times right now, I could actually make him loyal. Which would allow me to go to peace and not worry about the Ottomans. And I could just wait and see what happens with Castile. Alright, I like that. I like the idea of having no prestige. I feel like that is a reasonable thing to do. Oh, they also have debt. Five loans. That's 25 Liberty Desire I could buy off for 500 ducats. Now I'm going to just do the prestige. Okay, he's now going to be loyal. Means that he should immediately break the support with the, uh... The Ottomans, which means that next month, Oyo is going to stop caring about the Ottomans. At least he should. A maintenance modifier and global seller increase. I think we do just take this right now. Let's put the small stuff, right? Kill one separatist. Why are you still disloyal? Relative power of all vassals and the supporter to Ottomans. So even though you're loyal right now, you are still allowing your independence to be supported? I feel like you should have cancelled it by now. You should not be allowed to have a supporter. Ooh, full annexation. Sorry, Hungary. Oh, that's somebody else. Wallachia. No, actually, yeah. Sorry, Hungary. You can't do anything with that guy. He's gone. Hopefully, my prestige isn't the factor here, is it? I don't remember now. Is it? Wait a minute. Castile's in a war. Attacker against Austria in the Milanese conquest of Bern. Damn it. You're not supposed to be involved in this war. Dude, you're 69 years old. 70. It's going to be 70 years old soon. Why don't you join this war? I need this war to end right away. So Austria has done what? He has declared an offensive war at war with Lubick, Bremen, Hamburg. Doesn't matter. Milan and Castile. So he's attacked Milan, defender against Milan, and the Milanese conquest of Bern. So Milan has decided to attack Sweden. Not Sweden, Switzerland. Which is actually Savoy. Isn't it? Yes, so he's attacked Savoy. So Savoy is the defender. Milan called in Castile. So if I make Savoy like me, I might be able to enforce peace. This is a real pain in the butt. I'm going to be so upset if I miss this window. No! Now you must live. Live, man. <laughs> Don't die. Enrique. This is the one time you actually support the Enrique ruler. Please don't die. Alright, so what can I do to make you like me, like, super fast? I think first off, I've got to start off by getting a, a diplomat working on improved relations just over time. And then I think we got to give up on one of these these guys. I'd like to be able to do both, but... Let's give up on the guy with the level 3 fort. We need him sometime in the next three and a half months to, to work on this. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. We'll see what happens in the next one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. He's now 70. Yuck!